Just one month after SpaceX broke a major record with the Falcon 9 rocket, Musk is making it to the headlines with another record again. One of SpaceX's most significant milestones this year has been the successful launch of the Falcon 9's 21st flight. But recently, SpaceX surpassed its previous record with a new one. Join us as we examine how it all went down. In an outstanding move that has left the aerospace industry in awe, Elon Musk's SpaceX has once again pushed the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Just one month ago, SpaceX got a lot of buzz after its Falcon 9's 21st flight set a new reusability record for the company. But recently, SpaceX has once again hit another milestone with the Falcon 9 rocket. This groundbreaking mission marked the first time a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched and landed 22 times. After Falcon 9 took off from the Space Force Station in Florida, with 23 Starlink spaceships on board its rocket, everyone held their breath to see if it would once again achieve a successful landing. However, just 2 minutes and 34 seconds into the flight, the second stage separated from the Falcon 9 booster. After this was done successfully, its first stage booster then returned to Earth, landing on a SpaceX drone ship just offshore in the Atlantic Ocean. It's important to note that this launch occurred 8 minutes and 14 seconds into the mission, setting a record for SpaceX. So what does this mean for SpaceX? Well, while it's easier to launch a rocket from a launch pad into space, successfully landing the first stage back to Earth is not always an easy feat. By achieving 22 successful flights with the same booster, SpaceX is not only setting new records but also shaping the future of space travel and global connectivity. Which brings us to the next question. What makes Falcon 9 so great? With a height of 70 meters and a payload capacity of 22,800 kilos to low Earth orbit, the Falcon 9 has set the standard for a rocket to be used and reused. One of its significant features, its boosters, allows the rocket to return back to Earth after it launches. Traditionally, rockets were expendable. To put things in perspective, when a company needed to launch a rocket, they always had to get a new one each time. And with millions and millions of dollars required to launch a new rocket, the cost of space missions was excessively high. However, the introduction of the Falcon 9 changed everything. Within a short time, Elon Musk has achieved a feat that even NASA claims is highly impressive. Along with this success, Elon Musk now plans to launch 1,000 rockets per year sometime in the near future, and the use of reusable boosters could make this a reality. However, his goals are not far-fetched, because just this year alone, Elon Musk has launched over 45 rockets and plans to reach 150 by the end of the year. This latest achievement continues to highlight SpaceX's long history of innovation and record-breaking. When Falcon 9 launched in 2010, it became the first privately developed liquid-fueled rocket to reach space. But this was only the beginning of SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. In 2012, SpaceX demonstrated its capability once again by becoming the first privately funded company to dock with the International Space Station ISS, after the Dragon spacecraft launched aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. However, like most things in life, SpaceX's journey over the has not been without some major challenges. In 2016, SpaceX faced several setbacks when a Falcon 9 rocket exploded during a pre-launch static fire test, destroying the rocket and its payload. Consequently, in 2020, although the initial launch was a success, the first flight of the Falcon Heavy experienced a major problem when the center core booster failed to land successfully on its drone ship. As a result, it missed its target and was lost at sea. Additionally, over the years, some Starlink satellites have failed to reach orbit or become non-operational, leading to increased costs and setbacks. And there have also been launch delays due to technical issues, weather conditions, and range safety concerns. But despite these challenges, SpaceX's resilience and problem-solving capabilities have led to continuous improvements. Take the Dragon, for example. For years, SpaceX's Dragon has been a major force in the industry. Currently, Crew Dragon holds the record of the rocket with the largest number of crewed flights in the industry. This impressive track record of innovation and reliability from SpaceX has not gone unnoticed by key players in the space industry. 
As a testament to their growing reputation, SpaceX was recently awarded a contract by NASA to determine how fast SpaceX can launch a Dragon spacecraft in an emergency scenario, especially one that involves retrieving stranded crew members from the ISS. This move came shortly after NASA astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore got stranded at the International Space Station, ISS. Due to thruster issues and helium leaks on the Boeing Starliner, the members of its crew have faced difficulties returning back to Earth. A journey initially estimated to last no more than eight days has now extended beyond 51 days. To make matters worse, it's also passed the maximum stay of 45 days, which NASA allows for astronauts on the International Space Station due to limitations of life support and supplies. But yet, it appears there's still no hope in sight. The implication of this is that, if the two astronauts need to be rescued, SpaceX's Dragon is the only viable option. This isn't the first time things have gone wrong with a Boeing crewed flight. On the 5th of June, after astronauts were strapped in and ready for liftoff, the launch was unexpectedly halted after an auto hold was triggered by its computer just three minutes and 50 seconds to go. This humiliation comes after a previous launch attempt was scrapped on June 1st, just moments before the launch, due to a ground control performance issue. With Starliner's issues continuing to worsen every day, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, already docked at the ISS, appears to be the primary option for a potential rescue mission. Dragon's seven-person capacity makes it suitable for retrieving the stranded astronauts if it becomes necessary. Only the next few weeks will tell. This situation highlights SpaceX's lead in the industry. Each year, SpaceX appears to be one step ahead of its competitors. The Falcon 9 and Dragon continue with the Vulcan Centaur and Starliner rockets, which are owned by United Launch Alliance, ULA, a Boeing partner. While the Vulcan Centaur and Starliner have their own strengths, the Falcon 9's reusability, cost-effectiveness, and Dragon's successful crewed flights make it one of Elon Musk's most notable achievements. Furthermore, SpaceX does not appear to be slowing down. With 51 orbital missions already completed this year, including 36 dedicated to Starlink, the company is on track to meet its goals. The continued development of reusable rocket technology and frequent launches will further solidify SpaceX's leadership in the space industry. Elon Musk's vision of making space travel more accessible and economical is gradually becoming a reality. As he continues to change the face of space exploration and overcome major challenges, it's clear that SpaceX will play a pivotal role in humanity's next great leap into Mars. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, click the like button and subscribe for daily videos. Thanks for watching.